Hello and welcome to part six of my little railway build, um, which is going to be quite exciting for me anyway, because I'm going to be starting the build of the station. Um, but before I get started on that, I want to take you back to part four, I think it was, when I've done the signal box. Uh, and I want to show you the progress I made on that, and uh, I've got to try and work out how I'm going to incorporate that into the station. Um, it, it looks fairly simple to do, but it, it's taken me a while to figure out uh, the actual best way to build it. Um, because obviously I'm not living up in Pickering, and I can't keep just you know, nipping backwards and forwards, and I've only got the photographs that I've took, which aren't very good, and um, that I can find on Google, and they're all sort of um, distance. So I don't know what's there um, behind it, or in front of it, or whatever. So um, it's all. Some of it's going to be guesswork, um, but if you take a look at it here, you'll um, see that um, basically the, the, the first part of the station is just basically a block wall. Uh, isn't that, I'm not sure what the buildings are behind it, um, but there is a gateway there, um, a tall, a tall, wide wooden gateway here in the picture. So. Um, I'm guessing there's some sort of um, a ramp, a loading ramp behind it because there certainly isn't a building behind that part of the station because I can see through the top. Um, along the side, along the, the rest of the uh, wall, there's got some like, little waiting rooms and um, offices, I suppose. Um, now, in reality, I'm not going to be able to do all of that. So my plan for that wall is just to put um, a low relief building behind it um just to show that there is something there and, and make the windows on the front of the station look as if they're for something um in reality i think behind the wall there is um, a wooded area from what i can make out on google earth anyway um and then further up there's a, there's the station car park um that was my intention to move that car park down behind the station um, we, 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 and they put trees around it and, and whatever just to try and make it work uh, in reality it's a little bit further up uh, and I believe you drive up the road and turn left and to, to get into the, the um, car park where there's a level crossing you go over and then you do a left into the car park obviously so and I intend to model that as well um, but obviously it's going to be a bit con it's going to be a bit um compressed so um we just have to wait and see how that turns out now the station i'm going to build is um the metcalf kit which you can see here now it's a pretty little station and it looks nothing like the station up in pickering but as it's going to sit uh as the front of it is going to be right on the front of the layout i think it's going to look quite nice um the original one up in Pickering has got um, uh, a, a roof canopy going right the way over. Now, I'm not going to do that. Um, now, I've looked back on old photographs of the station and they've got this, this affair with um, an, angled, um, an angled canopy going across the platform, um, which I think I can do. Um, but I, what I want to try and do with, with the Metcalf kits that I've got here is just build it. It's dawned on me that every one that I've ever had that I've sort of majorly altered. And I don't want to do that with this one because it is a pretty little building, a pretty little model. So I want to keep it as original as possible. Um, but the idea for doing the canopy is, because obviously the, the Metcalf kits come with their own canopy, um, which are very nice, are very, very de intricate, very delicate, and very nice, but you won't be able to see what's on the station platforms or you won't be able to, you know, um, uh, to see the, the, the prettiness of the windows or the, or, or the waiting rooms or whatever, you won't, just won't be able to see it, which is why I've gone with the uh, canopy that I'm going to go with. So wish me luck, um, hopefully it'll turn out okay, I'm not going to modify it too much, and as per usual, um, I will give update, I'll, I'll do a bit of modelling and I'll give a little update of how I'm getting along within the video. So let's crack on, before, we, before I crack on, get this model done, um, what I'm probably going to do is split this one up, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do all of it in this video. 
I, I, I'm going to split it down into maybe two, possibly three parts, and um, we'll, you know, we'll see how it pans out. Hopefully three parts will be enough, I don't want to drag it on too much. So let's get going. Well, as you can see, I made a little bit of progress, and I've got my first piece of track laid. <laughs> it's this tiny little piece with the buffer stop on, with the, um, with the uh, end light on in place and it's only about an inch long um, but it's my first bit of track <laughs> um, that, that is running off um, a 12 volt uh, supply um, it's not going to be wired up to them it's supposed to sort of um, go on the main line uh, for DC anyway and uh, if you slow the train down the light will go out so I've stuck it on a uh, its own feed, so that's why there's a little tiny piece of track there, which means that the light will be on all the time. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, I've just got to carry on now. Right, a little bit further on now. Um, I made a start, uh, and I've come across here now, like that, and you can see that I've made a start on the platform. Now this is nowhere near finished not even at the right height. Um, one thing um, I have noticed is I don't really like the Metcalf platform. Um, the top of it is just too new, it just um, don't look right. So I'm probably going to have to cover it, but that's no, that's no big deal. I've got two sections made up here. Um, yes, uh, and I have obviously changed the front because on the original it's like a grey grey brick um, but in the um, for the for the rest of it I lower down anyway I've used a red brick so that's looking okay now with that first platform what you get we well, don't really get much actually but uh, this is a backing plate that I'm going to show you I don't know if you can see. there you go um, and I've, I've, I've put in the first top of the archway um, it's, it, I've cheated, okay, um, I haven't used the end scale um, archway, I've used um, double O, a ratio double O kit, I've got six windows and I've just used, chopped them in half, I've took the bottom half off and um, I've cut it into the card and stuck it in there, um, yeah I think that's, that's probably going to look okay if I put it, you know, somewhere around about there. Get a, we get a feel of what's, what's going to happen anyway. So yeah, that, that's looking quite good. Obviously I've cut out the archway to go above the top. Well, that's not stuck in yet. You can see that make it look a bit better. Makes it look a lot better actually, looking on the cam camera monitor. Um, so yeah, I, but I've, um, I've, I've got stuck. Um, because um, I've had to order some more windows. I, I didn't know what I was going to do about the, the windows for the rest of the um, the rest of the building or, or the doorways. But I've managed to find somewhere online that uh, um, sells engaged windows and doors, and um, they look quite nice, and they should fit in anyway. So that'd be quite good. So uh, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over now to my workbench and because um, I made a start on the actual main building there you go it's not much of a start I know um, I've just cut the windows out and um, I've stuck them on their backing blades and um, I'm ready now to carry on um, yeah I think this um, this build is going to get quite complicated for me so when I'm doing this one this is going to be on platform one the main station obviously is going to be on platform one and the um, the bit that I just showed you on the other is going to be by the signal box is going to be on platform two. I think that's the only way I can describe it in the videos. Okay, there you go. I've got building A now completed. Well, almost completed anyway. There you go. That's the back of it. Yeah. I should see along the back, but yeah, quite pleased with that. A word, a word of warning, though, to anyone that's um, thinking about doing one of these uh, Metcalf kits. 
um, the glazing, what the, the, the backing, well the, the, the brown piece here that the glazing goes on is only on one side of what I've, you know, or, 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 or of the cut out piece. So you've got to make sure you get the right side. It would be helpful if Metcalf would put face up on it. <laughs> And I would have realised to start off with, um, as it turns out, the top window here, I got it round the wrong way. And I had to peel off the glazing and um, turn it around and stick it back again. Hopefully it'll dry out okay though. Inside, I've done my old trick. I've done on the cinema, I've done the, the upper floor. I've cut out a square and that's just so that the light can feed down through and light up the bottom windows when I eventually get that put in. Going to be doing something different with that as well. I'm going to be doing the um, LEDs or in um, series so that they're all joined together. Put it on one wire because the wiring on this is, is becoming a little bit of a mess, a little bit of atrocious. I'll just pan you around here and you'll see what I mean. There you go, I've got all these wires and I've got to sort them all out. Most of them are oversized, so uh, it's not actually as bad as it seems, but there is an awful lot of them. And I haven't even got to run in the train yet. One final look. Right, I'm going to get going with um, building B, I think it is the second one, the middle one. Right, I've got the, um, the centre bit of the platform done and um, as you can see again, yeah, and i put the red brick on the bottom. I think that's looking quite effective now. That was reasonably easy, easy to do. Um, I'll put the buildings on it now, which is where they're going to sit, I believe. And you see the components now. There you go. See the components now beginning to come together. And I think that's going to look quite smart. I really do. Oh, you know, but I mean, when it's actually on the light, you're not going to see this side, you'll see it on the other side. But even so, you know, that's, that's looking quite smart. All right, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to bring this little video to an end now. and uh, have a bit of a rest from it for a few days and uh, I'll come back to you later on in the week when I've got a bit more free time but it's, so far it's come together quite easily it's been quite an easy little build so far so if you would like to uh, see how this little uh, the station progresses and um, enjoy me in part two of the station build of course don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to uh, if you don't want to miss it all right then I'll see you in part seven I guess no sorry I got that wrong didn't I part eight Okay then, <laughs> I need to have a rest. Alright then, bye for now.